În 31 august 2011, la Sinagoga Mare din București, a avut loc ceremonia de rămas bun a marelui rabin Menachem Hakoen, care și-a încheiat misiunea în România. În ajunul acestei zile importante, Marele Rabin a avut amabilitatea de a mă primi pentru un interviu în biroul său, unde tocmai își corecta discursul de rămas bun. L-am întrebat ce sentimente le încearcă la despărțire. I came into Romania in the 70s, the late 70s. With the uh, Hanukkiyada, with Rabbi Rosen, the head of the Israeli delegation uh, from the Moshavim in Israel. Uh, and uh, if you are talking about Cluj, the one of the people who participated in this delegation, his name was Nahum Gantz. He is origin. He was originally from Cluj, and his son Benny Gantz is now the chief. Commander of the Israeli Army, he's the he's the Ramat Kal, what we call call. He's the the highest rank. So I came to Romania and I find the organized Jewish community and I want to talk about it. But a few minutes before I stand up to speak to the pulpit, I was thinking Am I the right man to go into this position to carry out the position of the great rabbis Nemirovia, Shafran and Rosen? Am I am I the, the person to do that? Am, am I the, do I have the personality to do that? And the situation that time in Romania was very bad after the, the Holocaust, and after the Second World War, and, and, and then, then the communist area started. Nothing was in Romania. It was a very poor country. And I wondered if I can help those people, if, as a rabbi, I will be able to encourage the people not to lose their hopes and to do everything what I can to help those people. But, I mean, I came in in the 90s, it was after the revolution. A new area was in Euromedia. And I find youth, when they grew up in this area, in this, in this they, they, they learned in the universities, they learned in the, in the schools, they get free education. And I wanted to have to 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 to, to and I saw in them and the middle generation the future of the existence of a Jewish community in Romania. Yeah, Rabbi, uh, in these 13 years, what was the great the greatest accomplishment you can count? You know, when I look back. Usually a rabbi is trying to create a minyan in the synagogue, to keep, to see that the kashrut will uh, be uh, as it has to be, to take care of the cemeteries and the burials, all these things I did. And uh, because I find more or less, not in every community, but more or less, the Jewish communities in Romania were organized. As they're organized, and they have the, all the services what the Jewish community need. But I wanted much more, much more. And as I said to you before, I wanted to bring the young generation to Jewish life. And I started together with the help of Dr. Svi Fine from the Joint to, to establish tools for the for those people. What were these tools? The tools, first of all, they live in a world of internet. And to give them the tools, the internet tools, how to to to, to work with them and to do it in the framework of the community. 
to create a language of uh, studies of, uh, of, of Jewish studies in their, in their language, the modern language, in, in, in a modern way. And we established the, the, the pedagogical center. And we, we produced materials so in all fields of Judaism. Materials, video materials, written materials, uh, all kinds of materials. And we were, we had a, 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 because we lived in a world of communication, there was no one young man in Romania what we didn't find him where he is and to have commu to communicate him. And that was, in my opinion, my greatest achievement in Romania, to, to, to see there is a future of, young, of a young general. I don't know if all the communities will exist, but when you, took, when you talk about the Romanian Jew, the, the Romanian Jewish community will exist. You did, uh, didn't say me all achievements or all, all accomplishments because I know you had a great satisfaction with uh, your books published here in Romania. My books... Uh, were you inspired? Uh, in no, no, I, 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 I want to say something. I'm making a, a definition between my satisfaction as my, my ego, my ego satisfaction, what it means. I publish books, this, so I publish in Hebrew, I publish in Romanian. But it's okay, that is, I'm not the only, the only one what is publishing, writing and publishing books. Some are better books, some are, mm, but my satisfaction is when I go out, when I, when I travel around the community, when I meet people, when I, when I see people, and I see the love, what they have to me, what I have to them. If I don't speak Romanian, so the, our language is with the art, not with the world. And if so much people loves you, why do you leave the community? You know, after 10 intensive years, and three year, last three years not too intensive, one of my dreams was to Bring that to, you know that I trained the young man. I trained him a very, very talented young man, Surin Rosen, Rabbi Shlomo Surin Rosen. And I make efforts, I sent him to a rabbinical seminar to the United States. He spent some time in a yeshiva in Israel, and he came back as a rabbi. And I wanted him to take over and because I think the, the, the a real community needs a rabbi yeah. from, the, from their inner theory, not from outside, not from outside. And I, but unfortunately, he left, he wasn't too happy. He did a great work. He translated the prayer book, the Sidur, in a new Romanian language, in a modern Romanian language, with transliteration. I find the sources for to publish it more than that. And that gives me great satisfaction. But from the other hand, I'm disappointed that that young man left. And you ask me why I left, why I'm living after 13 years. I'm not getting younger. I'm getting elder, old, even old. Uh, I'm now 79. And I, have a stream. I don't want that stream. it's too much. But to fly back and forth, and I have other duties as well. I'm, uh, in the, uh, I, I am in the, I'm still the chief rabbi of the Moshavim in Israel. I am the uh, uh, vice president of the Claims Conference, and, and, uh, in the, and, and I work with the joint, and I'm flying days and nights, and my children, my grandchildren used to say, we don't know that we have a, a Saba, we don't have a, grand, a, Zayde, a grandfather. Uh, you are, and they used to call me a very, very noble name. Our father in heaven, Parinta Chiresk. But um, I, I think we, I, I have to slow down. I have to slow down. And I hope this community 
is in a good situation, more or less. And they less, will find I think. That I don't want to. I don't want to give uh, marks. And they will. They will find good people to continue. And I told them, and I promised them that whenever they want my advice, my help in anything. Today we have not only telephones, we have internet, emails, and then Skypes, and, then, and, and, and everything, and we can communicate. And I'm not leaving uh, uh, this community and say, bye-bye, I don't want to see you anymore. No, okay, I'm, I, I, I'm connected with them, but the responsibility to carry the responsibility, the chief rabbi, with all the complicated uh, problems. And uh, if I'm not daily uh, occupied with them, I think I will do, I will not be, uh, uh, I will, my responsibilities will, will be uh, uh, not in the best uh, situation. So that for, and I think every human being in a certain age, as to say, I can't imagine a Jewish f future without the synagogue and without rabbis. You absolutely. And you right. live now. We remain without any rabbi. No. How do you no, see? No, 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 no. It's not one rabbi is coming in today. Today, I said I will not leave before there will be a rabbi. It's not going to be the chief rabbi. So far, so you have to see how will he speaks Romanian. He speaks Hungarian because he was born in Arad. So let's hope. What are your advice for the new rabbi and for the new chief rabbi? For the new rabbi and for the new chief rabbi and for anybody who would be in, 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 the, in that positions to not to, to, to remember one thing. The Jewish life all over the world is not that it was 100 years ago. And we have a challenge to find ways how to bring in the Jewish identity to them, to bring them, if you, and, and I absolutely 100% agree with you that the Jewish community must have an active synagogue, but the synagogue we have to, to create an atmosphere or to attract the people in the synagogue. And the rabbi, if he stands only in the pulpit and he's speaking to people and they don't listen, and no one wants to, so uh, therefore the new do what I talk about, they, they used to stay three, two hours in the synagogue for Shabbat or two or two and a half hours or three hours and not to, not to be able to read the prayers. Now they are able to read the prayers. They're able to read the prayers. They're able to they have a transliteration. Not always with in the cannot read always, but but and 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 we have to remember one thing. The Jewish people existed with miracles. We never we cannot predict what it's going to, what's going to happen. We um. just have to hope and to do whatever we are able to do. And that's, uh, that is... Uh, maybe uh, we failed. We failed to keep our rabbi. What is, um, uh, have to do the community to keep a rabbi and what have to do a rabbi to remain longer time in this kind of community like in Romania? First of all, the rabbi has to... First of all, there is the rabbi's duty. Not to take his position as a job, just as a, as a only mission, and to be an idealist, and to know to sacrifice sometimes from his private life, from his conveniences, that is first of all. Now, what should the community do? The community, if the rabbi is that kind of what I'm talking about, he has to 
the community as to not only to came to listen to the rabbi from time to time or to be to the they have to see the rabbi as a part of their life of their life and if he's a part of their life so that in, in, this, in those communities, like our communities, we have to live like a family, because we are too small to live as a, as a, as a, a community, just as, a, as, as an old community. So, and, and, and the rabbi has to see the Jewish life, not only in the synagogue, he has to be a social worker as well and to take care on the needs of the people, on the physical needs, on the, on the spiritual needs, and then to pray to God to, to, to help us. Uh, what will you do uh, leaving Romania, leaving Bucharest? What are your plans, your projects? What will you do in the Holy Land? I told you, I'm still the rabbi of the Moshavim. And it is a big, big, uh, you know, we have 253 Sposhavim in Israel. And I'm the chief rabbi. And I have under me 40, 50 rabbis. So I have to travel around. But I'm not, I'm not, not as I told you, my age, I have to find a replacement there as well. And, and I still want to write some books, what I have, what I couldn't do when I was so busy. And I'm still busy with the claims conference and the joint, and I have to free myself. And I still have to pray to God to give me health and have some, some more years to do what, what, I, what, what I wanted to do. But our, our rabbis in Talmud say that a, a man is not leaving this world and all his desires to fulfill, is fulfilled. If he fulfilled half of his desires, is enough. I have the feeling that I fulfilled more than, that my cup of desires is more than half full. It's still a, a, a part empty, but thank God for that.